Welcome back to Near Automata and in part 17 of the playthrough, Pink Bode, Pink Bode 2B is going to take out the Speed Star. Who's the Speed Star? He's fast, he floats, and he's blue. He's pretty adorable at a distance, but be well, watch your temper because repeated failures to outrun this speedy foe is going to leave you breathless as soon as we find him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch the uh, the uh, the the television series BattleBots? Oh, you mean like like how they're still playing it on the Discovery Channel? Yeah, dude, BattleBots is the shit. It is it is BattleBots so exciting. is pretty good. And, oh I mean, no, he's got now with the hammer. <laughs> and that shit gets me pumped. I honestly think it is pretty good. Um, but. Uh, I do have one minor complaint, and it's that a lot of the ex a lot of this extraneous and or uh, primary weapons that they're using very clearly aren't doing all that much damage to these bots. Well, it's not it's not this just like in MMA fighting. It's not you know it's not the one knockout strike that counts. It's you it's actually usually comes down to a, to, to a technical knockout situation or just simply having a higher score than your opponent. Unless, of course, you're Tombstone, who uh, who just rips uh, bots in half, like at, not every other uh, every other fight he's in. Yeah, I would think that it would come down to a judge's decision and not have to completely destroy the fucking robot. All right, now that finish line is way over there. You got your movement. That's not that far away. You got your movement speed upgrades ready. You want you like having that extra edge for once in the in the game of motion. Race. However, little does Cloud realize that although I had allocated the movement speed chips, I did not actually equip them. So given the placebo effect of believing in oneself and steps taken, we may achieve glory. Double jump up here, double jump across the gap. There he is. Ugh. Yay, you got it. I knew if I believed in myself, I could do it. Take that high speed machine. <laughs> we got the speed star. <laughs> you can take that notch and shove it up your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Invest right. Mechanic communications. All right. Yes. Uh, one of the access points. Uh, let's do the Yorha Betrayers real quick. That That's a okay. really conspicuously important one, because not only did I get emailed about it, I even had a, a corresponding exchange with Operator 6-0, who had a, an order from the commander. Yes, that red circle right over there should be your target in order to satisfy the commander's directive. Yeah, whilst we run through the jungle, how is Mr. Gerd at? I'm, I'm doing all right. I finally started playing um, uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And I got to say, although I mo although I definitely like uh, several of the movesets that I've uh, gotten through so far, I still think that uh, that Urbosa is, is going to be my, uh, my uh, favorite uh, one to go through. But and it's not even because of her moveset; it's because she still actually retains her personality from Breath of the Wild. So, makes it fun. Yeah, yeah. we find that people be, people become skilled very consistently when they do things they like. Rusted club and tiny jump. Ow! 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 Also, a classic mode and the uh, King and the Kingdom Two uh, Crowns crossover come out for Bloodstained today, so I'm planning to uh, test that out. Whew. Classic mode will probably kick my ass a bunch because I'm not actually good at classic Castlevania. And more power-up stabbing, hell yeah! They're from your huh? Alert! Targets are rogue units two two B and six four B, currently designated for detention. Um. They come for us, idiot! Prepare to engage and inform the captain. Captain? Uh, got it. Yes. There is one amongst them who is not here. Disengage and surrender immediately. 
Set your trap. Uh, well, that's not very nice. Let's try to kill them. <laughs> All right. So she's using the uh, the uh, claymore style weapon uh, alongside uh, the basic katana. Yeah, she's using. Oh, critical critical hit. Nice. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can use that that kind of like saw blade type weapon. Oh, yeah, totally. It's just it's just the two handed claymore. Whereas uh, whereas her uh, S unit is using can't tell. <laughs> I know the, the, it's great that the Yorha units got a lot of sophistication. Not unlike Adam and Eve, who also are the some of the other suddenly seen humanoid type enemies in this game. But Adam and Eve are just using Beowulf. They don't believe in the order of sword combat. Prefer kicks in dragon's fist. Fire breath. So it's, they're gonna be up on, on the rooftop again, aren't up they? Up the stairs, up the stairs. Remember these stairs? You gotta go upstairs. Up the stairs, up the stairs. <laughs> We're learning. You climb these stairs to be these stairs, like the stairs to be. You climb the stairs to be. Made it. Ah, my eyes. And I'm dizzy. Jump. Okay. Uh, uh, there. There they are. Found you, fiends. Currently designated for detention. Damn it. I'll kill you. Yeah, but you'll have to do uh, try harder than you did last time, so... You are too low level. Well, she's our level, so... Turn, turn. Well, this is a peculiar event, is now we are being attacked by our own. Well, we're not actually being attacked by our own. We're tracking down our own to attack them. But they try they did not even try a peaceful solution. They just tried to kill us. See, I'm wondering if I'm just voluntary. I may just volunteer no, I decided that. Just just lock on them. Just just kill them. You know what? Yeah, but you're not but uh, yeah, they're still not going to successfully kill them. There's uh, there's at least uh, one uh, one more segment of this to go. I just said, this would be a much more interesting boss fight if it wasn't that uh, I could just keep staggering them and then doing crits on them because Pod is walking on and, and you know, not missing. Uh, looks like you actually did take out 22B. I'm giving him a chance. Wow, you did actually finish them off. Okay. Well, because they wouldn't surrender. <laughs> Two, two B. Eight B. B. What the hell? Six four B. Sixty four is eight squared. Eight B. Currently wanted for desertion. Proposal: disable and detain at once. You. You did this. Please, you have to stop fighting. Shut up. You don't know anything. <clears throat> Well, the player knows cer uh, uh, certainly knows a hell of a lot, but that, that didn't that didn't hurt that bad. Destroy. What happened to detain? And crit. Now, does uh, Tubi get any other critical attack animations? Oh yeah, it all depends on what on what weapon she's using. Okay. Um. And I, there, there are definitely some hidden combo strings in this game that, you know, because you have a second, you have your your light attack and your heavy attack, but I'm pretty sure that the game is going to let you do different stuff depending on the order that you do the thing. In. And power yeah, attack. So how much damage does Pod do per second right now? 30? Uh, 10. I mean, uh, the 10 No, it's 10 per shot, but I, but I want to say it's between 30 and 50 damage per second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, no, faster than, more than that. I would say 
I'd say uh, uh, 10 bullets a second. No, it's no way is it 10 bullets a second. I can't quite count that fast. And almost pulse later, don't charge. Yeah, I guess. Where you at once, bro? Mm, 10,000 G. And a type four and the type four only. Yeah, we got a new weapon. Mission complete. Yay! We we did it, guys. We murdered them. Our fellow units. Now, can you actually just disable them? The no, nah, no, nah, you you do have to kill place. them. You think Anemone might know something to be? Let's find out. Again, we mm. get I Melee gave them. up small. You know, they had a sliver of health bar left. And, 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 you know, in every game of Magic the Gathering I've seen is at some point you either play it out or you just GG and you scoop. And everybody goes out for ice cream. I enjoy ice cream. Yeah, hot fudge Sunday. Okay, now about that Type 40 Lance there, yes. So it looks like a good Lance to fit on my backside. Equip. So okay. Alright, so now I got big weapon for big attacks. Hell yes. No, there are boars about. Yes. You, you get you get a sense that there is there there is like a world of activity going on here. This is just the microcosm, of course, of the entire planet. Like we're at the capital of everything. So, an enemy. What did our betrayers actually steal from a uh, steal from the resistance? Yeah, what, what did you like to know? Well, that's what you're supposed to be doing now. You're supposed to be going back to talk to an enemy about it. The, that is what we're supposed to be doing right now. But that's what sucks about this quest is that it seems to raise even more questions than it answers. Yeah, the ones that we killed in, like, totally epic fashion with backing music and everything. Fuck. Excuse me. So it turns out those soldiers didn't actually steal anything. Which means what? No, they just defected. Nine S to command. Come in. Operator 210 here. Go ahead. It's about the Yorha soldiers who deserted. Copy that, Nine S. We've confirmed their status on this end. Yep, they're no, dead as I mean, fuck. Good shooting, soldier. The resistance soldier. says that none of their supplies are actually missing. So what's going on here? I lack access to the data concerning this mission. Huh? The order came from the commander herself. What? Operator, I don't understand. Be careful, 9S. I have no further information. Huh? Operator? Operator? Yep, they just desert. The they just defected. About? Let's go. But we're here to fight. That's and all. We're here to look cute while we do it. Onward. Huh? Mm. There's somebody missing from over here. Need any maintenance? Oh, you bet. You betcha, I do. Thanks a bunch. Mm. And oh. in the next episode, uh, maybe we'll go back to the Forest King. We will. Yep. This this was just a massive diversion, but I wanted to do one of the more important quests, the uh, the Yorha okay. Betrayers quest. I mean, for God's sakes, they got their own unique backing music. It makes it sound cool. Be safe, everybody. Go to sleep.